What's up, Cleveland? It's your girl, Tiffany Marie, coming to you live in effect at the Player T Show, hosted by none other than the man himself, Mr. Player T. I can tell you what you can do with those cell phone and laptops. Tune in. Come and check us out every Friday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Where you can check it out? PlayerTShow.com. Play a T, that's me, Hollywood in the hood, doing it really, really big. Like I said at the onset of the show, we got some really great guests on the show tonight, one of which we about to chop it up right now from Kahilic Ministries, yeah. right here, Mr. Lamont Richmond. Oh! Now, Kahilic Ministries, now that actually has a meaning behind that name. You care to divulge what it means? Yes, it's a Hebrew interpretation of a Greek term called Ecclesia, which means a uh, an assembly of called out ones. Wow. Kahilit Ministries. In other words, people that have been called and chosen to, 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 to lead the way. You know, how, when, when did you come up with that? Uh, um, maybe about, uh, I would say, four or five years ago. Uh, there was a, a a brother who came through, and he actually worked with the Jewish community mm -hmm. as a missionary, and he was interpreting some some uh, a Hebrew uh, calligraphy that was on like the the uh, the uh, cornerstone of the church. Yeah. And I said, well, maybe you can give me a Hebrew interpretation of this particular word that the Lord has been giving me. To call my ministry, and he uh, gave. So you it to had him. a vision of a word that you had been saying. Yes. And it was Kahila. No, no. Actually, it was the word ecclesia, which oh, is the Greek ecclesia. term. Okay. But I wanted to go all the way back to the original Hebrew. So right. when he started uh, interpreting things, I asked him for the interpretation, a Hebrew interpretation of that particular word. Right. Which means. Uh, an assembly of called out ones. Now, what do you believe you've been assembled and called out to do? Is to uh, have people to be born again. And I like the brother's uh, song because that's the call of the churches that in order for an individual, according to the scriptures, to be in the presence of God right. for eternity, they must be born again. Right. Wow. What you know about that? It get deep, man. It get deep. So now your ministries, are you based out of a particular church? Yes. In a particular faith? Uh, well, no denominations. There haven't been non-denominational for, non for at least uh, four generations. And uh, it's called Elam Gospel Chapel. So it's a gospel chapel, but it's been non-denominational. Yes, for almost a uh, hundred years. Now, how how's that work out? Because in, in the real world, it's called war when that happens. <laughs> you know, class of the titans. You know, what I mean, one belief against another belief. You know, so how do you maintain a harmonious state in in a place like that? Just uh, follow the script, which is the Bible. Okay. I mean, if you if you go with the authenticity of the scriptures. There is no way to waver as. So it doesn't matter what your faith is, but if you stick to the script of your faith, which is usually have tenets of, uh, you know, respect yourself and others. Yes. So you're absolutely. saying if you believe in your, your, your work, your writings and your scriptures, mm -hmm. no matter what faith it is, then everybody's going to come to a common ground. Yes, but or they must be born again. Born through what a realization of the mind on what it is they need to do, or born again because you know my mama go, I can't be born again. I'm sorry, you know. Hey, so, you know that I mean? that sounds like Nicodemus in the scriptures, and uh, he was it was explained to him that it's a spiritual thing. Okay. It has nothing to do with the physical. It's all spiritual. All spiritual. And, and um, it's it's a a realization, as you said that we are all on the same level when we're born. 